Hey, it's Chris, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the just released Peloton Apple TV app. So the first thing that happens when you fire up the Peloton Apple TV app is this screen right here. If you've already created a Peloton account, then you can go ahead and log in, but if not, it actually directs you to download the Peloton mobile app on your iPhone first. So once you've already got your account set up, you can go into the actual part of logging in. You'll put your email or username and password in. So once you get logged into the app, this is the home screen here. These are all of the workouts that are available through Peloton. And if we go up to the top right, you'll see there's Electric Chris. That is my leaderboard name, if you wanna follow me. If you click on that, you'll see this is all that's offered. Not a lot, no history of classes. Nobody can go back and look at how you've done in other classes. That's not available yet. You look at the bottom though, this does say Peloton version 1.0. So that's the type of thing through feedback that it will slowly add as this app is developed. If you wanna look at all that stuff right now, they're telling you go to the website or the Peloton mobile app on your iPhone or your Android phone or, or the iPad. So we go back out to the main menu by hitting menu and to the home screen here, you can see all the different workouts that are available. It doesn't scroll down. This is what you see is what you get. We'll go up and hit up strength first, click on that. These are all the strength classes available. These are in reverse chronological order. So the most recent is at the top, which is the Chase Tucker 20 minute lower body strength. It's an intermediate class, as you can see, and the check mark up in the corner means I've taken this class before. So if we go up to the filter option here, now you can kind of start customizing and picking out the type of workouts that you want. So first is the length, 20, 10, all the way up to 30. So how much time you got, class type. Now this will be different per, for the different types of workouts. So this is strength. So your strength skills, body weight, full body, upper body, core, and lower body. As you go down, you can choose your instructor, your type of music that you like, all kinds of different options here. And you can kind of narrow it down. Let's see if there's any classic rock strength workouts. So yeah, there's a ton of those. And then you can go by difficulty and sort by, so you can go from newest, trending, popular, top rated, easiest, and hardest, so we want to go easiest. And then we can do ones that we bookmark, ones you've taken before, and ones that have captions. So we're gonna go here to this short one. This is a, a 10 minute full body strength. And if you click on that, now we can see kind of a, some info on that class. And then we're gonna go, let's get rid of some of these filters and do that one that's most recent, because that's one we'll clear these filters out. And let's go back to this Chase Tucker lower body, because I've done this one. So same info in there, you can see that explicit rating on the bottom left now. And you can see I've taken this class before. So we're gonna start it. I'm not gonna have the audio because I don't wanna get a copyright strike. So you can see here on the workout, we got the countdown timer, you have a minute until it starts to kind of get ready. It'll let you know a little bit about the class, what you can expect, what you need to have. And then you'll have the 20 minute lower body, you know, kind of a status of the ride at the top, it's the timeline. And if you swipe up from the bottom, you'll get this. You can turn that timer off or that timeline off or have both off. And when it comes to customizing what you see at the class or in the class, this is basically it. So you'll notice there is no option for heart rate monitor, to get that type of feedback. Your Apple Watch isn't gonna be able to track that. That is something you can do with the iPhone app. If you airplay it to your TV, you will be able to get some of those calories and, and heart rate tracked through your Apple Watch while it's connected to your iPhone and then playing on the TV. And I'll show you how to do that a little bit here at the, uh, the end of this video. Let's go take a look at a few other types of workouts. So here is the yoga. So again, when it comes to filtering stuff, the only thing that's really different is gonna be class types because yoga is gonna have different types of classes than strength training. So yoga offers these, yoga basics, yoga flow, power yoga, yoga anywhere, restorative yoga, and pre and postnatal yoga. Everything else, when it comes to instructor, you're gonna have different instructors, but filtering for it's gonna be the same Music is gonna be you know, a little bit different. Actually, it's basically the same. Difficulty, and you can sort by you know, new, hard, trending, all that, like the other ones. 
So for the rest of them, I'm just gonna show you the class type. So here you can see these are some of the classes that are available. We got 10 minutes, all far, there's a 45 minute, and uh, there's a Bollywood flow. So kind of cool little uh, unique classes. They do that on the tread and the bike as well, where they'll have special events. So that's yoga, it's like a meditation. So we'll look at the class types only on this one. Fitness focus, meditation basics, mindfulness, relax and sleep, meditation anywhere, emotions, and zen in 10, which seems like something I should probably start doing. Now we'll go down to cardio. So this is gonna be types of cardio you can do in your house without special equipment. You can use weights in some case, like the Andy Spear one. Uh, but it's a way to do workouts, mix it up. If you're tired of riding on the bike, you want to mix it up or the tread or the strength training. This is another really great option. And let's go look and see what types of classes are available here. Family, dance cardio and hit. Dance cardio is a newer thing that just came out here really recently. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, the family ones is where it's multiple people in your family can get up and kind of do them. And it's a great way as we're all kind of stuck inside or kind of kind of quarantining to get up and kind of be active with the people in your house. Uh, let's go check out stretching. Let's take a look at the classes, full body, upper body, lower body, pre and post ride, and then pre and post run stretches. And then next up is cycling. So we'll go over, there's all the cycling, it's what Peloton's known for, Peloton bike. So we'll go down, let's look at those class types. These are all the ones that are available on a Peloton bike. So I'm very familiar with these. After having my Peloton bike, almost coming up on three years here in I think three and four months. So here we go, Ben or low impact, power zone, climb, live DJ, where they have actually DJ beside the instructor, you know, controlling the music and stuff, really cool, and talking back and forth with the instructors. Intervals, heart rate zone, a theme ride, you know, there's different maybe holiday rides, Halloween rides where the instructors wear costumes, stuff like that. Groove rides where you dance a little bit, metrics, metrics, and then have an actual pro cyclist teach a class, which is awesome if you're into more competitive or, or you know, outdoor cycling. So let's go back to running. Running is another one that's very uh, big on Peloton because they have that Peloton tread. You can see there's Olivia there in the middle that I've highlighted with the tread itself at her home. You know, they're, they're working out from home right now with the, with the quarantine. Uh, so we can see all the rides there. Let's go look at the class type, running skills, warm up slash cool down, fun run, endurance, speed, intervals, and heart rate zone. So let's go look at, let's see, we'll do a live from home, this Olivia one here and show you. Again, 100% rating out of 1,651 Ratings with an 8.1 difficulty. And I've done her rides before on the bike. She's a Peloton uh, bike instructor and I've done the runs. Probably one of the hardest instructors, in my opinion, in Peloton when it comes to bike or tread. So you can kind of get an idea. There's what the tread looks like if you want to buy one. I'm, again, I'm not gonna play the audio because I don't wanna get a copyright strike. So we'll exit out of this and we'll go to... Boot camp is actually one of my favorite non-bike types of workouts. So these are treadmill focused. So you're gonna need a treadmill of some type to do these, um, whether at your gym uh, or at your house. Treadmills, boot camps are you're gonna you're gonna you know do some running and then you're gonna get off and do some weights, body weight or with weights, and you may get back on a run again, or you may just do all that at the end of the ride. Either way, it's a mix up. It's a mix of running and strength training, and I'm a huge fan of that. Some of the toughest workouts. So we go class type here, we got theme, body weight, low impact, body focus, and then heart rate zone when it comes to those. Let's go see what's next. Next up, we got walking, last one here. Walking is a great way to start out with the tread. And you can see here, there's all the different ones that are available. And we'll go to class type, and we got warm up, cool down, fun walk, power walk, and what's cool, hiking. So that's you're talking higher inclines, you know, brisker pace, but you're walking and you're getting a good workout and get that heart rate up there without running. And you got to walk plus run. If you're trying, you're new, you're starting out with running, you can walk some and then run. So that was a first look at the just released 
Peloton Apple TV app. Now make no mistake, it is definitely a version 1.0 piece of software. There are some features I would like to see. For one, a much more expanded profile section. I'd love to be able to see my achievements, my badges, my workout history, my friend's workout history, all that information that you get on a Peloton bike or a treadmill or the iPad app or your iPhone. I'd love to see all that added so I could see that on the app. And I'd also love to be able to use some type of heart rate monitor to track my heart rate because when you have that extra piece of information, it really helps refine and get your calorie count a little closer to what it actually is. And that's why I think for a lot of people, it makes sense to airplay workouts from your iPhone to your Apple TV. Because whenever you have an Apple Watch connected to an iPhone and you run the Peloton app on your iPhone, it will actually use the heart rate monitor from your Apple Watch. And you will get more information, heart rate information, your calorie count will be more accurate, and that'll all sync through Peloton into the Peloton you know, database. For me, that makes more sense than using this app because it is still, like I said, a version 1.0. So that is the Peloton TV app. Are there some features that are missing from it that you'd like to see? I'd like to hear about them in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.